Hey guys, hope you're doing good. This is Ben here. Uh, I'm just looking at myself in this reflection and my God, I'm having a really bad hair day. Look at that. I've got a real bird's nest going on at the moment. Right now I'm in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. And I don't know about the, the level of uh, skin fade that they have around here, but it's getting to that point where even I might need a haircut. So, yeah, things are really looking up out here, though, mind. When I first got here, my habits were absolutely terrible. I was really anxious in this city because it was just seeming really fucking busy and just overwhelming and really hot. Um, but... Basically, on my first few days here, after fucking drinking by myself and furiously masturbating in my room, I went to the gym that was recommended on some expat website, and I went there, it was this gym called New Gym, uh, which is like a 24-hour franchise. I went to the one with the highest reviews, and it sucked a fucking dick. It looked shit, and I was... Like, thinking, God, this is where I'm going to be training, this sucks. And uh, after a few more days of drinking by myself and furiously spanking the monkey, I basically reached my wit's end and I was like, right, even if this gym sucks, i got to do something because I feel terrible right now. Um, and then basically I went in there and they told me that I needed a one-time password in order to sign up for this shit. And fucking, I don't have a Vietnamese number, long story short, so it was basically fucked. And after that, I went perusing through the streets, looking for another gym, and fucking, I found this really good bodybuilding gym. Air-conditioned, shitload of weights, squat racks, dumbbells, everything, and I've just been training there. And since then, things have gotten way better for me way better, fucking, um, yeah, so I've been training at the gym, I borrowed a scooter yesterday, and I'm still riding it today, it is raining now, right now, it's the start of the monsoon season, which does kind of suck, but hey ho, but the reason I'm making this video, is I actually met a bird off Bumble last night, yeah, some bird from fucking uh, Ho Chi Minh City, some Vietnamese bird. And, you know, whilst I'm not a sex pat, you know, I was thinking it would be nice to bang a Vietnamese bird because I've heard good things about the, the local uh, women and sure enough, they are very, very beautiful. This bird that I met up with last night, she wore glasses and shit and with the glasses on, she looked like a 5 out of 10. But when, when I brought her back and we took the glasses off, she looked like a seven or not an eight, probably not an eight, but she looked nice. She, she was giving me the Asian persuasion for sure. And she told me that she hadn't had sex in the last year, which man, that's music to my ears and uh, probably didn't have as nice a personality as a bird from Thailand. But um, she actually told me that she's been on over 10 dates and she's never had a second date. And she was saying some annoying shit on the date, so I could kind of see why. But, um, yeah, bro, the sex was fantastic. Fucking, um... <laughs> she was saying that uh, she liked it when I did her, her doggy style and shit. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, that was... I really appreciated hearing those kind words. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, bro, it was nice. Like, I actually, even after I bust a nut, I still wanted to kiss that bird. And that's a good sign. If you know, you know. Sometimes you bust a nut, and you, like, you're with this bird, and you just want to jump out a window after. You're desperate to get away. But if you bust a nut, and you still want to carry on with the intimacy, it's like, oh, shit. Shiver me timbers. Shiver me timbers. So, yeah. Like, uh, I'm really beginning to think... The chances that I'm going to marry or get with uh, an English bird or a bird from the Anglosphere, I don't know, somewhere like America, Canada, England, Australia. Bruv, I'm, I'm not trying to sound like some fucking chronically online loser. I know there's a lot of them out there. And maybe I look like I fit the description, 
But I, I do kind of think that the girls that we've got going on back home, they are just a bit low quality, really, eh? The bang for the buck just is not there. There's probably some good girls out there. There's definitely some attractive, physically attractive women in these shores. But when you factor in the entitlement and the I deserve a princess treatment, but acting like a traditional woman is beneath me, it's fucking hard out here. It is tough, bro. Like, I look back, I did leave England when I was quite young, and I have been with some alright English birds, but I look back on the quality of the birds I was getting in England, and they were fucking terrible. They were god awful. And to be honest, when I went to Australia, which is still a predominantly white country, I definitely did get more female attention out there. But shit, in England, the birds I got were fucking trash. Trash. So, and to be honest, I, I do plan on improving a shitload to get the highest level of vagine, the best bang for my buck. Make a shitload of cheddar cheese. But when that happens... I won't be turning around and finding some English bird. I don't give a fuck if the white race is dying out. I do not want a white bird. Fuck that. Fuck that. I look around at all the people that have got like a white missus and they look miserable as fuck. They look miserable as fuck. Ain't nobody got time for that, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Onwards and upwards, eh? Onwards and upwards.